Hello everyone, Lord Sara here. This will be the first talking video in this fairly new channel, so I hope you enjoy the content. If so, please like and subscribe, and I will also like to hear your feedback and comments in the comment section below. There are so many great players in ESO, so many meta builds and really good content creators. As myself have no claim that I will be creating the best meta builds, however, I will try to deliver some cool, somewhat of meta yet enjoyable ideas you can try in Elder Scrolls Online. As this is my first talking video, I have decided to make a video on a possible spammable that can be used on a Necromancer, Venom Skull. I'm a firm believer that classes should have more class identity, so I did not want to use this swing or rending slashes, and as a necromancer, I think you should throw skulls at people. Yes, it might not be the most optimal way to play it, however, I think as an MMORPG player, it makes the game a bit more fun, and why not use it if it possibly works. I think the idea of uh, Venom Skull being disregarded so quickly as a spammable is that the skill animation is very wonky, especially when it's used as a range ability. When it's actually used as a melee ability, the animation does not feel that off. For example, the just to demonstrate, when you're far away from the target, it does have a significant amount of travel time, and which makes the ability not be able to land people roll dodging or blocking very often. If it's actually approached as a melee ability, you will see that the skill is actually hitting quite fast. For the fact that in this build, you will need to play in a melee range. So when you do play in a melee range, anyways with the Dawnbreaker and your Boneyard, Venom Skull does not become a bad option. Starting point of this theory crafting was that I have personally loved using Flames of Oblivion on a DK as a spammable, which in fact even if you play it as a melee build you will be still able to keep the pressure up from a distance, from a range. You know in some cases there are decent issues in Zero Deal, enemies play a little bit more dis defensive and they try to disengage from you and you sometimes miss them where you cannot finish people off in some odd number situations. I think Necro is a slower class compared to other classes. It does not have a reliable stun. It does not have the speed and the gap closer abilities that other classes has. And this issue um, of not being able to finish enemies or constantly pressuring them being up in their faces more apparent that maybe a Venom Skull as a class spammable from range might be a good option. Another thing I like to point out is that the Death Kneel passive ability in Necromancer. Whenever you have Venom Skull, Blast Bones, Avid Boneyard slotted in your bar, you get extra 24% crit chance when the enemy is under 25%. Which in some cases, this skill, the Venom Skull, will work as an execute because they will try to disengage. But when you have this passive and the Venom Skull active, you do get actually um, quite the finishing touch that Necromancer lacks. To clarify, it's nowhere near a best in slot ability. It's not. It's definitely not better than this swing. It's definitely not better than rending slashes. But I wanted to test it out to see because the common conception of the skill was that it is not usable. Even though Venom Skull is not as strong as Dizzy Swing. The fact that this swing is very clunky open world and it's very slow and there's a cast time, Venom Skull is not a bad uh, spammable compared to this swing. Yes, you won't st stun the enemy, you won't give them a snare, however, uh, you'll be able to pressure people off in the range and um, believe it or not, actually the tooltip is not that different. Uh, I have checked in um, many times in CMX that actually in my test, Venom Skull hit almost as hard as Dizzy in Swing. Especially currently I'm running Mechanical Acuity or I'm running a really high crit chance build. When the Venom Skull actually crits, it does hit quite hard. The Sight was another spammable that I was previously using in my build videos. However, the problem with Sight is that tooltip is really low and it does no damage whatsoever. One thing that Sight was really good at was the off balance and the proccing and status effect which you would get advantage of the occult overload. However, occult overload is getting nerfed which makes Sight not as good of an option during the next patch. 
When it comes to off balance is that you would be able to land your Boneyard Synergy a little bit easier since you would be able to stun the enemy outside of your ultimate. However, you will see in this video that in many fights that I was dueling with uh, very good players, I was still able to land my uh, Boneyard combo if it was timed right. So I prefer taking a bit more damage with Random Skull compared to the other things that Sight adds because the tooltip of Sight is very very low. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. If you have any feedback or questions, please reach out to me or post your comments in the comment section below. I'm still fairly new at this but planning to bring more content that is different and fun so maybe you can get inspired of you creating your own builds or playstyles. I'm also streaming weekly on Twitch which the link is in description so please tune in if you would like to see some live PvP. Again, Lord Sara here, thank you for watching, peace.